Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Tough Toy Tryouts. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and set up alerts so you're always up to date with the happenings on the channel. I apologize if this episode is a little off, but I've got a cold and half properly medicated. Anywho, this week we're testing a rope toy. No, a ball toy. No, a rope ball toy. Yeah, that's it. It's a ball made of rope. The Nuts for Knots Rope Ball by Multipet International is a single braid of cotton rope cleverly wrapped into a ball shape that's made for fetching, tugging, chewing, and cleaning teeth. I believe the color is random when sent. As you can see, I've got the black and green version. So, now that we know what we're dealing with, let's toss this baby over to Story and see how it holds up after a week's heavy abuse. And just like that, a week of chewing, tossing, ripping, and several packs of Alka-Seltzer severe cold and flu later, we have a completely mangled toy. It probably would have looked even worse had I the energy to take Story to the park for some multi-dog mayhem. Regardless, let's see how this toy did in the ratings. As always, let's begin with Safety, which received a 3 out of 5. We've tested a couple toys that either included a rope or simply was a rope, and toys that are made of rope generally receive a lower score due to choking concerns and potential intestinal issues. Always monitor your dog's play, but especially with rope toys, and it may sound gross, but if you know your dog has consumed some of the rope, you'll want to make sure it passes properly. The rope ball's design is pretty simplistic and therefore it receives a 3. While Story enjoyed the toy and it was excellent for fetch, I felt it would have been a lot better if they were to include some sort of noisemaker in the middle. If it made noise when shaken or when it hit the ground, it would have received even more attention from Story. For longevity, we have to give it a 2. As you saw, the ball was pretty unrecognizable as a ball by the end of the week and there's pieces of rope throughout the house that we'll probably be vacuuming up for the next few days. We're obviously throwing this thing away after its first week, which is a sign of a bad toy for aggressive chewers. The price for this toy is super cheap, which gives it a score of 5. The large version of the toy, which is 5 inches in diameter, is only $3.99 on Chewy.com, which makes it even cheaper than if you were to get some rope and make it yourself. The powers of wholesale! A buck seventy-six will get you the small version, which is half the size. For a price of a latte, you could get yourself an interesting toy for your pup and enjoy their fervor for a whole week or more. And thus, with a little rounding, we have a final score of three and a half bones for this simple yet effective rope ball toy. It could do with a built-in squeaker or something to jazz it up a bit, but it's cheap. It was enjoyed by Story, and I guess I've got plenty of floss now. I recommend this toy simply because of the price, but please monitor your dog's play and never leave your dog alone with it. And that's where we end this week's episode. I'm going to grab some more cold medicine and pass out on the couch, but if you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and share with your dog-loving community. Have a toy you'd like to see Story try out? Leave it in a comment below so I can take a gander. Until next time, have a fantastic week and thanks for watching.